eggs in the spring season. We dye them, we hide them, we eat them, and today we're going to use them to create a table play setting. We're getting crafty. Amy Latta joins us again, this time with an egg-based idea, perfect for your Easter table. You know, Easter is coming quickly, so we want to get ready for it. First, we're going to decorate the eggs. So what do we need for that? We need eggs. Yes. Okay. So I like <laughs> to work with fake eggs because then uh -huh. I can use them as decor in my home all season long and right. I don't have to worry about them getting smelly uh -huh. <laughs> and point. I don't have to worry about them breaking. <laughs> yes. So I got mine at Walmart. They okay. have white ones and colored ones in uh, these yes. little packs um, in the Easter section is awesome. But any kind of fake eggs that you can get your hands on. And these, I mean, they look real. So they do. I, I like that. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I like that you can get them already dyed or the white ones came with with dye that if you want to dye them yourself, you could do that. Um, but I liked leaving some of them natural as well. But all you need are those fake eggs right. and a permanent marker or a paint marker. Okay, so walk us through decorating here. How do we how do we go about doing that? So what I wanted to do was obviously use these in the place setting. So yes. I needed to put each person's name on an egg. Okay. And to do that, I used a font that I call Farmhouse Print. Uh. And this is something that's really, really simple to do. Um, not all hand lettering is complicated. Okay. So we're going to go back to elementary school for a minute. So yes. remember when you used to write with the lines and you had a top line, a bottom line, and a dashed line across the center? My kids are doing it now. I'm, there you I, go. I'm familiar, yes. So that center line okay. is called the X height. And what that does is tells us where we're going to cross our A, where the top bump of the B stops, where we cross our H, and those kinds of things. So mm -hmm. when something happens on the inside of a letter, it happens at that line. Yes. So what we get to do as artists is that we get to say we know the rules, but we're going to break them. Ah. So we're going to take that X height and we're going to raise it up. Okay. And what that does is it changes the way that our letters look because now we're crossing our A at the top and the top bump of our B is teeny tiny so compared to the bottom one. Okay. And it just gives us, it actually looks a lot like the Ray Dunn pottery that you like to mm -hmm. see in home goods and that kind of thing. Yeah. So this is our farmhouse print and I have free practice pages on my website or of course you could use any kind of lettering or writing that you wanted to do on these, even alphabet stickers if you don't like your writing. But we're just going to create the eggs that have each person's name on them as the first step. I see. All right. Uh, very, very interesting how basically you can make your own font yes. yourself. So that's cool. All right. Now you're going to take this craft to the next level. So we've, we've got the egg. Now we have the font. Got the name. What do we do? Okay. So now we're going to put our little egg inside of a bunny. Ah, okay. And I love and this because all you need in addition to the egg yep. is a white cloth napkin okay. and something to tie it off with a cute little ribbon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take our white cloth napkin and we're just going to fold it in half so that we have a triangle. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take from the point and I'm going to start rolling my napkin. And this is just going to give me a long rolled tube. Okay. Then once I have the tube, what I'm going to do is make a U shape yes. like this. Okay. Then That's I'm easy. just going to, it's very easy. Okay. I'm going to measure my egg right. so that I know what size I need to work with here and yeah. kind of put my finger there, mm -hmm. hold it. Okay. So you can see now I have this shape with like two things right, coming right. off. Yep. So now, since that would be very, very large bunny ears. <laughs> Those are big ears. Those are big. Exactly. Yep. Okay. We're going to loop them back down. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to fold them to the outside. Right. And that gives us our little bunny's ears. Oh, isn't that clever? Okay. It's so, so simple. Yep. So then you're just going to take a piece of ribbon and it can be something that matches your egg, something nice and springy. And we're just going to tie it. You can do a knot, a bow, anything you like. And that's what's going to hold this in place. Oh, and wow. it really helps um, at this point to do the craft with a friend. You can have yeah. somebody hold that for you. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Or your kids. It, make or them your work. kids. Make your kids yep. work. Child yep. labor, you know. But right. So then you're going to tie it's, off hey. your bow. Yeah. And cut the ends. And you have your little bunny. Oh, I love it. And then you just stick your egg inside like we did here. And you have a little place setting. And, and you know what I love about this? And I mean this. Uh, people are going to think that you worked hours on this. I know, and, right? And may, maybe I might have to, but <laughs> really th these are these are very simple and, and very, very neat to look at on the table. Yes, so. and the great thing is there's no glue, so yeah. your guests actually use this napkin. They untie it, Perfect. use the napkin, and then they can take the egg home as a favor. Wonderful. All right, real quick, remind us where we can get all of the craft info and your ideas, too. Oh, of course. Yeah. AmyLattaCreations.com is my website, and I also have my brand new book, Practice Makes Progress. Perfect. Amy, always great to visit with you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yep, we'll see you soon. Uh, we'll be right back.